the things that you're going to talk about, like <sighs> press start to begin in the demo pre-patched version. What is that? It's the it's the thing that they like neglected. Like it's not something I'm using as like a like a like a total bias, but it proves that you can tell where their priorities were. That they didn't even bother to. Um, I think like. Uh, what's his face? The head of Crytek was talking about how PC is the lead version of it, and yeah, blah, blah. But if it was the lead version, why the hell did it have like the user interface from the Xbox One? Yeah, true. As as the you know the starting screen for the demo. I mean, like I know it's a demo. It's obviously just the earliest hardware they could give someone to play with. But come on, <laughs> press start. Like there's no start button on on my fucking keyboard. <laughs> And horrible graphic textures, not up to today's standards. Yeah, like, like you were saying something like how it was like fucking, like, it actually had the same graphics for the PC as the console or something like that. Yeah, there's there's two pictures I found of someone running it in DX10, um, which is the highest one you can get right now since there's no DX11. Um, he's like running it in DirectX10 at like high settings, and he took a, a screenshot, and those those graphics are just so muddy. Like they're they're not um, really like defined. There's no uh, like shading to the thing to make it look even duller. Yeah, I remember seeing those pictures you sent me, and they were fucking like, goddamn. You could see yeah. the smudges in it, like like there's no great detail in the grass and whatnot. Exactly. Like I have the photos still on on like my computer. <laughs> yeah, you gotta send them to me. <clears throat> I'm there right here. Hang on. No Direct X eleven support. What's the what's the difference though between the ten and eleven? Well, ten and eleven um, is not is is not too much. It's just that there's more dynamic lighting, and there's a thing called tessellation, okay, with like DirectX eleven that ends up making um, like polygon count way higher, and it essentially smooths out a lot of edges. Like when you look at Bad Company two, yeah, in DirectX nine on the highest settings, and then like the DirectX eleven on like a really capable computer, mm -hmm. it's it's not like a night and day difference, but like the rocks look like rocks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, it just, it's, it, like, basically adds way more definition to the game. Mm -hmm. Um, here's one of the pictures. I have them both right here. So why doesn't, why doesn't Crisis have it, then? It's, it's so weird. The, uh, the original one had Crisis, uh, I think Crisis 1 had DirectX 10. Uh, let me see. Mm. The, what was that? Linear gameplay in both single and multiplayer. What do you mean by that? Line linear, like what is it? <clears throat> um, like the linearity aspect of it is um, in the first one, you were in a jungle. You could basically um find. Oh great, dropped a battery. You could find your enemies. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> as, as profit or whatever, and you could sneak around. Like you could just, you could um. Like, you could approach them from multiple angles, whereas in Crisis 2, you're pretty much kind of guided to them. Oh, okay. All like, right. you're led right to where they are. And and in multiplayer? Well, in multiplayer, it's, like, more linear because, like, someone pointed out, too, like, I read, uh, what is it, uh, that the maps are, are smaller, obviously, because they had to be uh, made to fit on the consoles, which they ended up just bringing to the PC. Like, there's no PC maps that are different from the console versions. Yeah. Which also means they had to lower the player count, but basically it's just it's it's like saying that um, <clears throat> um what is it uh that like the linearity means that they like there's like way tighter corridors the levels are not as big so like everyone's essentially kind of clumped together like meaning that there's like a lot of choke points and hallways they're all like you know one way in one way out yeah true whereas in in the first one there were vents and like holes and roofs and stuff all over the place so you have like more of a chance of <clears throat> yeah around places and like there were just more options in the first one hmm. Holy shit in the, second vehicles? One, oh. the other one just kind of was weird but whatever why what was wrong with it or what was different about it well it was just the um like the first one like with the with like the vehicles there was one vehicle um, you could drive, that was like a helicopter, it was like a spaceship kind of thing that flew around. Yeah. And there's, that's not anywhere to be seen in the second one. I forgot what it's called though, let me see. Is it because like they, like, it just wasn't part of the storyline or do you, or was it just, because it was just taken out? I think Great. it was just because it was taken out. Like they wanted to, 
like what a few people say like like more or less the hater crowd who i do kind of agree with only like they like they approach it kind of differently like they say they 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 stripped it of its um what's the word they stripped it of its own um kind of flavor yeah. Whereas, like before, with the vehicles and the non-linear gameplay, it was a lot like Battlefield. It was big, had pretty open maps. You could do like multiple things. Whereas now it's like kind of like Call of Duty. You just run into corridors and shoot. And so they like they so basically like dumbed it down for consoles. Yeah, like, that's like what they think anyway. But I mean, like when you kind of look at the evidence, that, that does seem like it's what they did. They kind of just made it way smaller. They made the maps smaller. They made you guys like closer together. But they said it's for the sake of action. Yeah, but that's people, that. If but like, but like you just said though, it's like if Battlefield Two, they they did an excellent job though at at keeping it, at keeping that on the PC version too. So why couldn't they do that with the Crisis one? Exactly. Oh man. Let me see if I can find that thing though. Airship. Cause I forgot the name of it. Fuck. Like in the. Um. In the in the single player, like, did you fly anything at all? Uh, I think so. I can't remember. I haven't finished it quite yet. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what that flying thing is. I forgot what it was called, but I remember there was a vehicle in there. So overall, what do you like? Did it? Did it? Like, was it a huge disappointment for PC users? Obviously, it must have been knowing they yeah. seem to dumb it down so much. There are a lot of them that like like that think that anyway that they don't like the fact that it was brought to consoles to begin with, and that we're losing out on exclusives. Like, I like. I mean, like, I personally think that exclusives are a good and a bad thing. Yeah. But like, I think Crisis because it began on the PC should have just stayed on the PC. Yeah. And on, like, the console side, I mean, it's like, <laughs> they don't know the difference, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're not coming from, like, for example, like, the lowered multiplayer ability from 32 players to 16. Like, yeah. I mean, that, half of these console people don't even know what the hell that is. Like, they don't even know that there could have been that ability anyways. So, to the console crowd, they're, they're not bitching as much, mainly because they just don't understand what they're missing out on. <laughs> yeah, like like what the first one had, and that the second one had to sacrifice just to bring Crisis to the consoles. Yeah, exactly. So they're just they they they're just a little bit misinformed by how much stuff is actually missing from the second Crisis. It's the same with Bad Company too, though. Like even on the consoles, like like you still get the same vehicles and all that stuff, but on the consoles, there's 24 player max. Yeah. On on the PC, there's 32, and like you wouldn't think that that little amount of people. Can can matter, but it, but it feels like a whole another ball game when you're with thirty, like you know, thirty one other guys. It's it's if it, it's huge. It's a huge difference though, because I remember when the first time I got on PC, I couldn't fucking handle it. <laughs> I know there's so many. It's like holy shit, just that these few people make a huge fucking difference. I mean, like you're used to going, you know, twelve v twelve and like being able to keep your eye on everybody, but now like because Battlefield has always been a you know like a PC game, they. Yeah. They, like the PC is especially where being in a, a, a tight squad matters. Yeah, exactly. Whereas like on the console, I mean like you can run around by yourself, but it's likely you'll die. But on the PC, like if you try to run around by yourself, like you will get killed. <laughs> it's a guarantee. That's why you yeah. need to use teamwork. Like there's no doubt about it, because anybody can sneak around and stab you in the back. It's pretty uh. I don't know. I mean, like, like for me, it's just kind of upsetting. Like, I just think that it's, I don't know, kind of bad. Yeah, it sucks. I just, I, I think it's, I think it sucks that, uh, not necessarily. Like, I'm not a console. You know how I am. I, I don't. I could care less. But I'm like, it sucks that console gamers can't get the same amount of stuff. Like, you wish you could. That'd be awesome. But at the yeah. same time, it's like, uh, the things that they need to, they would need to fix for our, uh, a console to work the same as a PC is just ridiculous. Yeah. So they definitely need to, a lot more console gamers at least need to give PC, uh, gaming a chance, because, uh, I remember I used to be a really heavy PC gamer and then stopped and then you got me into it again. Unfortunately. <laughs> I, I have a, I'm a fucking crackhead now. I have tons of shit on Steam. I know, right? Fucking ridiculous. I spent so much money on Steam already.
I've only had it for like a fucking what? How long? I don't even know. <laughs> it's fucking awful. And I now now I want a rig and everything. Fuck. I know, but it's 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 so worth it. I mean, like you spend good money and you get all of that. Yeah, exactly. You get a freaking and and also it's not as expensive as people would think. Yeah, so. I mean, like everyone thinks you have to spend like five thousand dollars for that, and you don't. <laughs> nope. You could get some cheap shit. I mean, my stuff cost me three hundred bucks, and the the only thing left that I have to buy is a graphics card. So really, like that'll be like five hundred bucks maybe. Oh man, I definitely need to get my shit because I want to play like none other. Ah, oh, <sighs> my foot's asleep. Awesome. See, that's a list, by the way, of um, the vehicles that were available in the first game. Oh wow! Holy shit! That's a yeah. huge difference. Yep, and those are all gone. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. I'm sending you the two pictures, by the way, of uh, the Crisis 2 ruining. Okay. Uh, Crisis 2.